hired to write Raven, or he wrote it and he stayed in Potter's Mill? Have you heard about it? Yeah. I have two answers. One is, uh, we don't know what Poe did every day of his life. He lived in Philadelphia. He could have made his way here. I, I can't rule it out. It's not an impossibility. On the other hand, seeing E.A. Poe carved in a table at the Utah house, I don't think <laughs> Now, I, but it's a lovely story. I have uh, a friend who, uh, who works at another campus now. Uh, who was a folklorist, and he said, and I don't know if this is true, but he said there was, there was a folklorist in the early part of the century whose idea of uh, being a folklorist was to make a folklore. <laughs> <laughs> and his name was William Shoemaker. Has anybody heard of him? <laughs> so um, I don't know if this is true. I, I made a friend of mine very upset when I said this, and I retracted it. I said, uh, it was a mistake. Forget about it. I said, According to my friend, he made up the story of the Nittany Lion. <laughs> and uh, the stories about Poe coming to central Pennsylvania appear first in a book called Poe the Man by Mary Phillips in 1925. And her source is William Schumacher. I just uh, wanted to add to that last point. Uh, I was at the University of Del Delaware for a while, and they claimed down there that he did write The Raven in Delaware. There's a bar in Newark, right? Newark, And right. they have a drink there called Post Curse. I've heard that there's it's, a drink. Yeah, it's called, what is it called now? I forget what it's called. Yeah. That he cursed the city because he was so mad at the way it was treated, so there's a drink you can buy called Post Curse. Um, what, what I know about the writing of The Raven, there are stories that he may have taken as long as 10 years to write The Raven, but towards the point at which he was about to publish it, he was seen um, uh, reading The Raven out loud in a, uh, near a farmhouse in Saratoga Springs in what is now Yaddo, the writer's colony, writer's colony, and a little boy overheard him, this is the story, and said, who ever heard of a raven saying evermore? And Paul said, that's very good, I'm gonna use that. <laughs> and, and the other reminiscence is from a woman who was a little girl in the Brenham Brennan farmhouse where Poe lived in 1844, just before he made his, you know, sort of return to New York City. Brennan farmhouse is now on the Upper West Side, but in that, those days it was country. And he was writing, or possibly revising, The Raven and letting the sh sheets fall to the floor, and this little girl saw this mess of sheets, and she quietly crept in and picked up all the sheets and put them in order and sort of straightened them out and put them on the desk uh, for Mr. Poe. So those are some details of, I think, some true details about uh, his writing of The Raven. Um, but, you know, we can't rule out other stories, and I, I enjoy the stories just as much as everybody else.